guys welcome to my channel this is the 36th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out the while loop now while is one of the three looping constructs available to us in C and uh, the other two are the for loop and the do while loop and we're going to check them out too in this course but uh, this tutorial is dedicated to while and uh, it's my favorite looping construct and it's an element of almost all programming languages and if you would learn it for C then you would probably master it for all languages. So, you know, why would you want to use a loop? Um, you would want to use a loop if you want to do something not once, but a few times over. That is, if you want to do something, uh, you know, repetitively. And um, let's say you want to print numbers from uh, 0 to 9 on screen, right? And you want to do that on different lines. Then you can't use 10 printf statements, or maybe you can, but what if you want to do something 50 times or 100 times, you know, in that case, it would be really inconvenient to type in the same piece of code 50 times or 100 times in your program, right? So for such cases, for such scenarios, you have looping constructs and they allow you to do the same thing with the, you know, variations, in fact, you know, as many times as you want, right? So without wasting any more time, let's uh, get right into this uh, program and, um, you know, as you can see, I've saved this file using code blocks. I've given it the name while.c on line one in this file. I have uh, a header file, the stdio.h header file, which I would be needing for uh, the program that we're going to make. And on line two, I have the main function on line three and four. On line three and four, I have the curly braces. And between the braces, we're going to type in our code. And uh, what we're going to do through this program is we're going to print numbers from zero to nine on screen and we're gonna you know not print uh using 10 printf statements but we're going to use the while loop to do that so to do that firstly i'll have to declare an integer and i'll give the uh name a to my variable i'll initialize it and i'll give it the value zero up front and then i'll uh, type in the keyword while and between parentheses i'll type in a test condition for the loop and what I mean by this is I'll have to inform while that you have to do something till this condition is true, basically. So, you know, I would have to repeat this till A reaches the value 10, right? So the test condition for this particular case would be A less than 10. So while A is less than 10, we're going to do whatever follows after the while keyword and the test condition between a pair of curly braces. So the body of while is going to be between these two curly braces or uh, you know this the, the piece of code that's going to be between these curly braces is going to be executed as long as this condition evaluates to true right and we're just going to have one printf statement within the curly braces and that's going to display uh, the message a is and then of course it's going to show us the value of a and since we want the different statements to uh, you know, generate outputs on different uh, different lines. We would have to put in the new line escape sequence after the percentage D four minutes specified, and after the second double quotation mark, I'll type in the variable a because we want to see its value too. And on the next line, I'll have to update the value of a, right? So I do that by using the assignment operator. So a equals a plus one, right? So this is going to update the value of a during each iteration of the loop. So in the first iteration, the value of A is going to be zero. The statement would execute because the test condition would uh, pass, right? Because zero is less than 10. In the next iteration, and then the value of A would be updated, right? So printf would execute and then A would be updated to one. And then while would check whether one is less than 10 or not, of course it is. So printf would be executed with the new value of A and then A would be updated to two on in the next iteration, A would be, uh, the sprint of statement would execute with the value of A as three, and then A would be updated to four. So that's going to happen till this uh, test condition fails, and that's going to happen when A reaches the value 10, right? So I'll save this file, and I'll click on build and run to see the output. And there you go, you see that in the output window, we get these 10, uh, you know, sentences. A is zero, A is one, A is two, A is three, up to A is nine. Right, so this is pretty cool and uh, there are lots and lots of things that you can do with loops and you know um, I don't even think it's possible to you know do anything <laughs> that's you know even remotely impressive without using loops and um, we are going to check out a lot of interesting applications of loops in this uh, course but for the timing I just want you guys to absorb the syntax of while 
and uh, even for the next two loops we're going to take up really simple examples probably we're going to do the same thing just so you can uh, figure out what uh, are the essential differences between uh, the different looping constructs available so thank you so much for watching this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, i'll see you soon